Now, there is a yellow alert in the forecast as we track in. Elise Finch now has your first alert forecast. So much for a rain free weekend, right? So much for a rain free weekend. I know people who had some days off during the week really, you know, made out like bandits because it was a great stretch that we had there, really tranquil weather, and that really starts to change tonight. As we take a live look outside right now, you can see that already we don't have the bright skies, that bright blue sky, and all that sunshine that we had over the past few days. It's a little dreary out there right now. So mostly cloudy, currently 60 degrees, with winds out of the northeast at 16 miles per hour. So it is cooler. It's also breezy out there. That'll be the case. Case for the remainder of the day. We have temperatures uh, as cool as 55 degrees right now for Monticello, 58 for Sparta, White Plains, and Poughkeepsie, 61 for Edison and Babylon with the Hamptons at 63. So that's the hot spot. We continue to see clouds just streaming into the area from Hurricane Ian. So we're watching this system. So it is having an impact on our weather, even though it's a bit direct, indirect right now. It is a Category 1 hurricane, as we mentioned at the top of the newscast. So it regained that strength and that title uh, last night. So Category 1 hurricane, which we expected to be when it makes landfall along the South Carolina coast, 85 mile an hour winds right now. The system's moving north at 14 miles an hour. So it's it's accelerating uh, a lot more quickly. And we, continue, we expect to see that continue through the afternoon before landfall. It does really rapidly weaken once it moves inland, but still quite the rainmaker. And while we don't see the track, you know, take it all the way into the tri-state area, we do tap into that moisture. So we'll start to see some bands of heavy rain drifting in overnight tonight. A steady onshore wind at the coast. So the worst of this system for us is going to be Saturday morning. That's what it looks like right now, where we could pick up an inch or two of rain, and then Sunday still looks dry but breezy. We have a yellow alert because we expect to see that rain on Saturday that will be heavy at times. Now, not for the entire area. There are some of our northern and western suburbs that will see light rain and maybe very little rain. But let me turn on the future cast and show you. So this is midnight. So we're starting to see a little bit of, a, of tapping in where we tap into that moisture. And then as we head into the overnight hours, it gets more significant. For New York City, points south and east, you can see this is a heavy rain that we'll be looking at for your Saturday morning. For parts of New Jersey, parts of uh, Long Island especially, you will likely be in the rain a little longer than others. So late morning, still some rain out there, still could be heavy. We start to get significant clearing as the afternoon goes on. And then while things could remain a little bit drizzly and certainly overcast, it's going to be chilly and breezy. As far as how much rain, well, one of the models says eh, maybe two inches. And and then there's another model that says maybe just over an inch and a half. But prepare for soggy, chilly, breezy conditions tomorrow, which is why we have that yellow alert. Tomorrow's high only 59 degrees, Chris. Okay, definitely yellow alert worthy. Elise, thank you very much.